الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله in another hadith narration in sunan ibn majah and in this narration it's a weak narration but there are authentic narrations in other hadith collections of the same hadith but in this one so that's why we will relay it because the meaning is is sahih although in this particular narration it has been uh, declared as daif as weak and in this narration qal hadathana abu sa'id abdullah ibn sa'id qala hadathana abu khalid al ahmar qala sami'tu mujalladan yadhkuru an shu'bi an jabir ibn abdullah qala kunna عند النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فخط خطا وخط خطين عن يمينه وخط خطين عن يساره ثم وضع يده في الخط الأوسط فقال هذا سبيل الله هذا سبيل الله ثم تلا هذه الآية وأن هذه الصراط مستقيما فاتبعوه ولا تتبعوا السبل فتفرق بكم عن سبيله جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه narrated or said that we were with the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he drew a line in the sand then he drew two lines to its right and two to its left then he put his hand in the middle line and said, This is the Sabil Allah. This is the path of Allah. Then he recited the verse, And verily, this is my straight path, so follow it and follow not other paths, for they will separate you from his path. In this hadith, it shows us again the Sabil Allah, the Sabil Mu'mineen is the straight path. And in the other narrations, it said, it was narrated that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam drew a line on the right, and then he drew one line on the left, and then he drew one in the middle. And he said, that is the Sabil Allah, had the Sabil Allah, this is the path of Allah, meaning that it's a straight path. And if you take those other paths, they will lead you astray, even if they seem to be going in the same direction. Even if those paths, because you're drawing a line, and you're drawing a line on the right and one on the left, they're all going in this direction. It's so it seems. Lakin have a civil Allah. This is a straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is one. Suratullahi al mustaqim It is the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is one path. Those other paths. They're on the right and on the left. And in the other narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, وَهَذَهِ سُبُلْ عَلَى كُلُّ سُبِيلْ الشَّيْطَانْ يَدْعُوا لَهُ وَكَمْ قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ The Prophet ﷺ in another narration, said that these are the different paths. So he's talking about the left and the right. And at every one of those paths, at the end of that path, so look at the path is going the same direction, but at the end of this path, and at the end of this path, there's a shaitan calling, yad'u that's calling to it. And in this hadith, there is immense instruction to stay strict upon the sunnah, strict, upon the sunnah this is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters that when you become soft and weak regarding the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
and you think something has something from the sunnah, but something for bid'ah, so you still go with it. That that could pop, that is from the subur. That is from the pass of the shaitan. They're calling to it. That at the each one of those paths is a shaitan that's calling to it, calling saying, hey, compromise the sunnah in this area and we'll still get you there. They're deceiving you. Hadhi subur. Those are the various paths, the various ways that lead astray from the sabil Allah because it's a straight path and it is not mixed with falsehood. So for us, we have to stick to that straight path. And the sabil al mu'minin is the sabil of the jama'ah. It's the sabil of uh, Ahlul Sunnah. It's the path of Ahlul Sunnah. Ahlul Sunnati will jama'ah. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, 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 commands us. وَأَمْرِ يُفِيدُ الْوُجُوبِ That when there's a command in the Qur'an or a command in the Sunnah, the origin of that command is that it's, that it's, an, it's a, an obligation. It's something you have to do. It's wajib. Unless there's something else from the Quran or the Sunnah to show us that it's mustahab, that it's uh, it's recommended, or that it's makru, or the other ahkam, or that it's been abrogated, or what have you. So, this is a command from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to adhere to that straight path, the sabil al-mu'minin, wala and do not divide. Adhering to that path is where you don't divide. But if you get on the subul, you will divide because you've divided from the path of Ahlul Sunnah. And then, of course, you're going to have your own differences because you're already compromising. So then you're already going to have other cause for division. The compromise or being a too extreme are causes for division. They will cause you to divide from the Sabila law. And Allah said, Verily, this is my straight path. So follow it and do not follow those other paths. That's in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Adhere to the Jama'ah, adhere to the main body of the Muslims, adhere to Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Avoid the Subu. And we ask for all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi wa Sallam.